Hey, it's Teresa with My Lice Advice, and today I'm gonna to show you how to check for lice in five simple steps. It's a video tutorial, it'll take you less than 10 minutes, and you're welcome to follow along with me. You only need four simple supplies most everybody has at home already. Some kind of hair clips, doesn't matter really what kind, some kind of hair elastic, something like this, or a scrunchie, a fine tooth comb. I prefer something called a rat tail comb like this that tapers at the end because it makes it easier for me to separate the hair, but if you don't have that, it's fine. And either paper towels or a napkin in case you end up pulling out any nits and you need somewhere to set them. Now more important than perfect supplies is having good lighting. And the best lighting is actually outside on a sunny day because sunlight reflects off of these lice eggs and makes them a lot easier to see. But if it's not a sunny day, then pick the lightest room in your house, which is usually the kitchen right next to the sink or the bathroom right next to the sink. If you're gonna be following along, this is the perfect time to pause the video and go gather those supplies. Before getting started, just so you know who I am, my name's Teresa with MyLiceAdvice.com and I'm a registered nurse and I actually specialize in head lice. So if in this video you discover lice, don't freak out. Just go to MyLiceAdvice.com. I have step-by-step -step videos. I'll walk you through how to get rid of it. Okay, you have your supplies, your setup. Let's get to it. Number one, know what to look for. Most people assume that if their child has lice, they're going to find a lot of bugs in their child's hair. But lice are masters of disguise. Can you see the lice bug in this person's hair? Here it is, right here. Do you see how it blends in super well? In this case, it almost looks translucent. Now take a look in this person's hair. Here's the lice bug right here. I find that lice usually match the color of the hair that they're in. So they're really difficult to see and they move really fast in the hair. So when you're looking for lice, you're actually looking for lice eggs. You'll also hear them referred to as nits. So what are lice eggs? They are exactly what they sound like. Lice bugs lay little eggs in the hair and each of those little eggs has a bug inside that eventually will hatch and reinfest your child. The telltale sign of something being a lice egg is that it's going to be glued onto a single hair strand. It's stuck on there. So if you're not sure whether or not something's a lice egg or dirt or dandruff, then what you want to do is try to kind of flick it or blow it or pull it out of the hair strand. The only way to get these lice eggs out is to pinch it between two fingers or two fingernails and drag it all the way down the entire hair strand. Now, as far as what lice eggs look like, the most common misconception is that they're going to be white. You will see these white knits, which are these hatched lice eggs, in somebody that's had lice for a really long time. But typically, lice eggs that you're gonna find in the hair will have some sort of color to them. They're either gonna be this golden color or two-toned color um, or even a dark brown or black. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking for little lice eggs in the hair that are either golden, brown, or black that are glued to the hair strand. You can't flick them off or anything. The only way to get them out is by squeezing them in between two fingers and pulling them all the way down the hair strand. And if you end up pulling any of these lice eggs out of the hair, then just put them on that paper towel that you have. And they're gonna look like this. They always look the same. And they usually have like a golden brown color to them. Number two, start with the baby hairs. So the baby hairs are these fine, short hairs that are all around the hairline. You can see them really prominently here in the bang area. These are some of the most common spots for you to find lice eggs, and they're also a lot easier to spot in these baby hairs if you look through them. So we're gonna start with checking for lice right here in the bangs in this baby hair area. So just push all the hair back and take a look through these little baby hairs. Do you see anything that looks like dirt or looks like something else in there that's stuck in the hair? Now, if you do, then you're going to want to examine it. And if it doesn't move easily, then you're actually going to put your fingers around it, squeeze it, and see, is this something that you have to drag all the way down the hair strand? 
So once you're finding lice eggs in the hair, then you have your answer. Yes, you do have lice. Don't freak out. Just go to myliceadvice.com. I'll show you how to get rid of it. If in this bang area you're not seeing any lice eggs, that's great, but we need to check the rest of the head. So I want you to check all the baby hairs around the circumference of the head. So if your child has long hair, you can just put all their hair up in a ponytail and look around that way. Or if they have short hair, just kind of push their hair back out of the way and look at all these baby hairs, you know, around the ears, around the nape of the neck, and just look through all these baby hairs. Now, if you're following along with me, now's a good time to pause the video before I move on to the next step. So you have some time to look through these baby hairs. Now it's time to check the hot spots. There are certain places that lice like to lay their eggs the most, and you're the most likely to find lice eggs. And those are called hot spots. So the first hot spot we're gonna check is the nape of the neck. Now at the nape of the neck here, we're going to be checking paper thin sections of hair. You're gonna put either your hand behind or a finger behind that paper thin section of hair. And to demonstrate why we are putting our hand behind a paper thin section, take a look at this hair. You don't see anything, do you? But as soon as I take a paper thin section and put my hand behind it, look at what we find. Not one, but two lice eggs hiding right there in plain sight. But you can actually see them when I put my hand behind the hair. So the first thing you wanna do is push that hair out of the way and clip it in some way. If your child has long hair, you may wanna actually tie it with an elastic so it's not falling in place, but if your child has short hair, you can just usually clip and it'll stay in place that way. Start at the nape of the neck and gather a paper thin section of hair and put your hand behind it. Then examine this hair for anything that looks abnormal. You wanna check close to the scalp because lice eggs are always laid within a quarter inch of the scalp. So look up here, do you see anything? If you don't find any lice eggs, then keep working your way up on this nape of the neck, section by section and examining it. If you do find something that you're not sure about, then you're going to examine it and ultimately try and pull it out of the hair. If you're following along, now's a good time for you to pause the video and check at least 10 paper thin sections of hair in this area next to the nape of the neck. The next hot spot we're going to examine is right here behind the ears and we're gonna do it the exact same way. So the same tips apply. You're gonna take a paper thin section of hair and you wanna put your hand right up against the scalp. So again, we're gonna begin with the hair clipped back out of the way, and then we're gonna separate small paper thin sections of hair. And you wanna be checking all around these ears. So take small sections of hair and examine them. And again, if you find something that looks like a lice egg, then you wanna to try to pull it out of the hair. You wanna check at least 10 small sections of hair around both ears. So if you're following along, now's a good time for you to pause the video. After you're done with that, come back to the video. We're almost done. If you have gotten this far where you have checked all of the baby hairs and these hot spots, and you're still not finding lice eggs, then you can be pretty certain you don't have lice. But the last place I like to check is right here at the crown of the head. So what you're gonna do is divide the hair into two pigtails and check just a couple of sections. And if you don't find anything there, then you don't have lice. Hooray, <laughs> I'm so happy for you. And if you do have lice and you'd like some help, then head over to myliceadvice.com. There's loads of free resources there, including a free house cleaning checklist specific to head lice. So that's it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe below. And if you have a comment, feel free to leave a comment. And if you have discovered lice, then head over there and check out that step-by-step -step video system. I'll see you there.